When you are traveling in China, museums can always help visitors to understand better a destination or a specific cultural background. This time, I visited some of the most unique museums in Hangzhou to discover the stories behind this city. Hangzhou is the southern terminus of the Grand Canal and has been one of the China's most renowned and prosperous city. It is a major economic and e-commerce hub within China. It is one of the seven ancient capitals of China and in the late 13th century was described by Italian traveler Marco Polo as the finest and the noblest city in the world. I want to start my journey from the Langju Culture Museum and learn more about Hangzhou ancient history and culture. Before I came to uh, Hangzhou this time, uh, I never heard about this museum. And I was uh, very uh, surprised to see uh, such a beautiful building that was designed by an um, uh, international architect. The Liangzhu culture was the last Neolithic jade culture in the Yangtze River Delta of China. It boasts some of the earliest recorded evidence of Chinese civilization. So I find it uh, very interesting to, to compare how it was back then in, uh, in this part of China, in the Yangtze River, and uh, the other side of the world, you know, the, the Middle East. Mm. It's really amazing, you know, I also found out yesterday that the pyramids in Egypt were built at the same time that it was Liangzhu culture. It's like a coincidence. It also happened in the Indus River Valley and also in the Mesopotamia. The same about time. the same time. Liangzhu Museum introducing the fascinating story that took place here a few thousand years ago. It was about how Liangzhu people they live and how they ate. The Liangzhu culture was a very rich culture and very advanced to those times. And also the agriculture back then was very well developed for those times. We know that uh, Chi Chinese, they love rice a lot and 5,000 years ago there were a lot of rice stored in the Liangzhu ancient city. And over here we have the fruits and vegetables that the people ate and some of them is very similar to today's diet. Um, this is what I say, uh, the kind of language the kind of early uh, literature they used to communicate. So uh, over here we have the uh, jade artifacts. Except for this one, all the ones uh, exhibited behind the glass are the real ones. I like two things. Uh, one thing is that this museum, I think it can be suitable for both adults and kids. Uh, so I think it's suitable for all generations. Hey, I want to ask you a question. You learned this in the school? Do you learn the language? 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 Oh, that's it. <laughs> so I find it quite amazing that uh, young generation is going to, to see this museum and this museum is very well adjusted to the needs. So the museum, the experience in the museum is very unique because of, the, of its design and uh, because of also how the pavilions are built. So each pavilion represents different parts of the culture. So there is a uh, AR experience, there is a place you can uh, watch a movie. This, the most advanced museum, uh, probably it's also one of the advanced in China, um, actually presents a very ancient culture. I will uh, definitely recommend them to visit uh, the museum and also nearby areas and I will be happy to take them uh, and to maybe even introduce to them. Liangzhu is also known as the water country, famous for its water management system. 
Coincidentally, on this rainy day, I visited the water country and my next stop is also related to water, where I'm going to discover the secrets of Chinese tea tradition.